Happy Friday, Tigers. It's February 17th, 2023, and you're watching Tiger Vision News. I'm Seth. And I'm Alexis. This is a reminder that, as always, FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Everyone is welcome. Now, if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Armstrong Bank, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Zomax School of Music, GH Outdoor Services, Reaction Wraps, Tiger's Den, Tiny Tots Child Care Center, Bowden Pest Control, Compass Counseling Services, Dr. Debbie Coy and Dr. Kimberly DeRossett, Focus Health Solutions at Fort Gibson Medical Clinic, Fort Gibson Chiropractic, Michelle Mackey at Chenoweth & Cohen, Studio 918, and Walker Family Dentistry. Fort Gibson High School has ended its Pennies for Patients fundraiser. Our total amount raised this year was $236. Ms. Parnell's third hour class was the largest contributor with a total of $110.35 and has earned the pizza party. Colt Tobert's third hour class came in second with a total of $43.72 to earn the pot party. Congratulations to everyone. NHS would like to thank all who participated in this worthy cause. After a lot of time spent writing, blocking, and memorizing, our new speech and debate team is ready to compete at their first speech and debate competition tomorrow in Union. We wish the team best of luck as well as Ms. Wicks at their new competition. Seniors, the required CPR AED training is scheduled for Wednesday, February 22nd during third and fourth hours. Remember, this is a graduation requirement, so if you have not already been signed off for completion, you must attend. The third and final trimester of the year begins next Tuesday, February 21st. We will be out of school Monday, February 20th for a professional day. I have to say, this weather has been really crazy lately. Warm one day, freezing cold the next. I agree. It's hard to know what to wear on a daily basis. Let's go to Kaysen to see what the weather looks like this upcoming week. Well, today it's cold again, but the roller coaster is headed back up, and this weekend it's sunny and warming up on Saturday to the low 50s, and Sunday to the mid 60s. We'll be in the mid 30s for the weekend. Next week, we're expecting mid to upper 60s, a little fall off in the middle of the week with a slight chance of rain, and highs in the upper 50s. Thanks to News on 6 for this week's graphic, and we'll be right back after word from one of our sponsors. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments, including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. And now, let's find out what's going on around here in the area and around the world. In the fort, this past Tuesday, voters voted on the $7 million bond issue for our school. It passed with the yes votes taking 94%. This will allow our district to gain various capital needs such as four new elementary classrooms, renovations and repairs to the football stadium and track, renovations to the high school auditorium and lobby, new playground equipment, buses, and much more. In this state, the Tulsa Fire Department in Hazmat responded to a chemical fire at the Tulsa Port of Catoosa. This call was made after an oil tanker caught fire. The fire department and Hazmat have called for the all clear. In the nation, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley announced her run for president in 2024. In the world, the, Turkish, the Turkey-Syria earthquake relief efforts are still at large after last week's initial earthquake. According to most recent reports, the death toll has reached over 40,000. And now, let's go to Trey to find out what some of our students and staff did for Valentine's Day.
Valentine's Day occurs every year on February 14th across the United States and other places around the world. Candy, flowers, and gifts are exchanged between loved ones all in the name of St. Valentine. So the question is, who's your Valentine? <laughs> or better yet, what are your plans for Valentine's Day this year? Well, I have had the same Valentine for 47 years now. I just celebrated my 43rd wedding anniversary and ended up marrying my high school sweetheart. And we dated for four years. So I guess my advice to you kids is be careful who you date. You might end up with them for almost 50 years. Yes, yes I do. Uh, yes, I did. And I did... I went to the movies and I went to Tulsa and went shopping with them. So that's all I did on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I will, I'm gonna take my mom out for dinner. What do I do for Valentine's Day? We used to have a tradition with our own kids that we would have kind of like a little fancy dinner for them on Valentine's Day and of course they're grown and gone but now our son is carrying on that tradition with his kids which is pretty nice so usually I like to just sit in my recliner on Valentine's Day though and <laughs> watch a good movie. Happy Valentine's Day Tigers! I'm Trey reporting for Tiger Vision News. Everybody and welcome back to Who's Park Tour. But today we got some even more fun here. Our first bad parker in the IP Intermediate Elementary at Fort Pierce Public Schools, and we are excited because I've never found a bad parker. And it's not even funny, it's weird. They don't park that way. And now what we have here is a dirty board who is on the edge of a parking spot who is like right, right, right there on the edge. Our last person today is a very special family. Nice. Remember to stay with That's not the point today, folks. It's a band that's parked on the white line. And it's a big band, so don't do that. And thank you for watching Who's Parked for a and I'm Bruce. And we would like to thank you for watching Who's Parked for a Goodbye! Hey Tiger Nation, welcome to the Sports Report. Our 8th grade boys and freshman boys basketball teams won the Verdigris Valley Conference Championship last Saturday. They are the best team in the conference. Good job guys! Our varsity basketball teams traveled to Bishop Kelly this past Tuesday and our class 4A number 15 ranked Lady Tigers de defeated the 5A number 10 Lady Comets by a score of 55 to 32. The Tigers fell to the 5A number 5 ranked Comets 72 to 50. The regular season has ended, and tonight we host Southsaw for the district title at 6.30 and 8 p.m. You can watch the districts and next week's regionals games here on FortGibsonTigers.tv. Our swimmers will go to, the, to state this weekend to Edmond to compete. Good luck to our swimmers and bring home the gold. Speaking of gold, Peyton Mullins competed and took the regional title this week. This is her third regional championship win. She will head to the state tourney next week. Good luck to the guys wrestling team, as they are at their regional tourney this weekend. The cross country team received some great news this week. Five of their members were named as all Tulsa World Honorable Mention. Cooper Glasgow, Liz Parker, Liliana Perez, Addison Alred, and Savannah Bebo. Congrats to you all. Last week we had one of our own football tigers signed to play at the next level. Congrats to Cade Waggle as he will head to South Southwest Baptist University in Missouri next year. He set quite a few records here as a Tiger and we wish him the best of luck at SBU. Finally, our high school bowling team will head to Tulsa tomorrow for their regional competition. They have been getting ready for this competition for the last three months. Good luck to those Lady Tigers and Tigers. Make us proud. 
Good luck to all of our winter athletes this week. And now a story of Tiger Vision from behind the scenes. Tiger Vision News. You know it. You love it. You're watching it. So what actually goes on in the Tiger Vision News class anyway? Since I'm in the class and one of my assignments is to write, film, and prepare a story every two weeks, I decided to focus my attention on just that, Tiger Vision News. Welcome to the Tiger Vision News Studio, where our weekly news broadcast happens. It contains our news desk, main camera, and all of our audio equipment. One of my favorite things about the newsroom, however, is the green screen, which is actually just a wall painted green. However, the green screen allows us to place images or videos behind a speaker, transporting us to another location in a matter of seconds. Be careful wearing green, though. The weekly news is recorded on Thursday and then posted for live viewing on Friday. A new script is written on Wednesday and copied into the teleprompter. While anchors rehearse and prepare, other students run the camera, audio, graphics, and monitors while the news is being recorded. Another important aspect of Tiger Vision News is creating a story from start to finish. We choose a topic, gather interviews, and then write the stories. After all of this is completed, we begin the editing process on a program called We Video. Tiger Vision News is an innovative way to allow your creativity to be displayed for an entire school to see. I have enjoyed being in the class and have learned many lessons about myself and broadcasting. There's still one more trimester to become part of Tiger Vision News, and if your schedule doesn't allow for it this year, you can always enroll in the class next year. This is Seth, reporting for Tiger Vision News. The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. The high school will be hosting a blood drive Wednesday, March 1st from 8.30 to 2 p.m. in the Harrison Fieldhouse. The scheduled appointment to donate see Addie Saw, uh, Ryan Cortez, Racy Williams, Lindsay Fouch, or Miss Keeling. Donors can be 17 and older. 16-year-old students can donate with parent permission. See Miss Keeling if you have any questions. Last week, some high school students placed in the Muskogee Area Competition. The competition included 243 students from 18 area schools. In the math competition, Ben Parker earned silver in geometry, Justin Lynn Christie earned bronze in algebra 2, and Daniel Lundy scored silver in advanced math. From engineering competition, Jaden Johnson and Trenton Bell won gold in mousetrap car. In the ping pong ball launcher, Mason Cooper and Wade Moore took gold, Daniel Lundy and Carl Garrett brought home silver, and Logan Pritchett and Jace Johnson earned bronze. A few weeks back, when we were home for a week with a sleet storm, Luke took some of his downtime and showed the best practices on his daily routine for virtual day. Luke? Hello there. If you guys haven't noticed here at Fort Kitchen, we've been having a few things called a virtual day. Virtual day is where you get onto a computer and get on a Google Meet with your class. Here is some of the things you can do to make yourself have a really good and successful virtual day. First, I wake up, then go pick out some really good clothes to wear for the virtual day. Then I go brush my teeth, comb my hair, and do everything I need to do to be ready for the virtual day. If you're feeling a little sluggish, what I usually do is, I usually go get a cup of coffee, which really wakes me up. Then, usually, I will get on my email and see when my classes are. I will write that down on a piece of paper usually, so I don't forget when they actually start and when they end. Usually, you have to get in your classes, and what I usually do to make it fun, I have this thing I like to do in the background, it's called a visual background. I usually choose the space one because I love space. Another thing to have as a successful virtual day is eat a really good breakfast. Eating really good breakfast is a very important part of the day. Also, make sure you don't you aren't late to any of your virtual day classes. And don't forget to do your work. And there are some ways how I do it and how you can have a very good and successful virtual day. I've had so much fun making this. This is Luke Steele reporting for Tiger Vision News. Last week, the third grade hosted their annual Living History Museum. This is the neatest project to witness. 
The students have been researching famous people with ties to Oklahoma for the last couple of months, and on this one night, they dress up and become the person they have been researching. I wasn't here at Fort Gibson for, first, for third grade, but this project is amazing. Famous people from Johnny Bench, Garth Brooks, Brad Pitt, Wiley Post, Will Rogers, Woody Guthrie, John Ross, Reba, to Ron Howard. Congratulations to all the third grade teachers and students who put on so much time and effort to do this crazy cool hands-on project. And now it's time for an update on the bond. Hi, Mr. Farmer. So what is this new thing about this new bond issue thing coming out? Uh, Luke, I appreciate the question. First, before I get into the bond issue, I want to thank the entire uh, Tiger Vision team. I really look forward to every Friday uh, jumping on and looking and seeing what you guys produce. Also, all the extracurricular events that you uh, broadcast in the evenings really means a lot to the district and to the community for the work you guys do. So thank you. I know there's something new. It seems like every week that I just love and I look forward to. But uh, to your question, bond issue, I know pro you've probably seen some of the flyers floating around. Uh, we want to thank our community for supporting our bond issue on Tuesday. Um, it, it passed successfully and we can now start getting these projects going and underway this summer. So we've got roof projects, we've got uh, stadium projects, we've got four new classrooms coming in uh, down at the elementary. There's something for everybody in this, in this issue, whether it's in athletics or uh, extracurriculars and, and certainly in the academic arena. So something for everybody, Luke, we're looking forward to it. You're gonna see progress over the next five years and we just can't tell you how much we appreciate the support from the community. I, I got a question though while I'm here. I've got Aiden with us and Aiden I'm going to tell you when we first unveiled the dad joke project I was excited um, but I, I, I've kind of grown to be a little bit hurt by it because um, I haven't been invited on it so I'm going to unveil one more big announcement um, in addition to us passing the bond issue and, and moving forward. Um, here it is. You know who's back? Me? You know who's back? Who? Yours. Come on, Aiden. Oh, you got to okay. get this stuff. Right. Listen, uh, I... What subject did you teach back you, in the day? Uh, good question. I taught math. It was my favorite subject. So, do you think I should do jokes along the lines of math? Of course. Okay. Well, uh, for Mr. Barris, you know, uh, calculus was one of my favorite things to teach, and he's a great calculus teacher. The problem is, how, when we do these jokes, how do we differentiate between the ones we want or get them integrated into the segment? Um, so, that, that would be an option, but... You know, maybe algebra or trigonometry, I enjoy teaching those too, but I'm, I'm telling you, I draw the line with geometry. Do that. And if, if we started maybe getting away from math, because math and science kind of go together, um, what do you think about Nurse Parker in, in chemistry? Um, I'm a little bit afraid to do a joke there just because I don't know what kind of reaction we'll get. Um, you know, so I, I struggle a little bit with some of those. Um, what if we went maybe down to elementary? and started talking about letters. Could I do something along those lines? Of course. Okay. Well, I, I know most of the letters. I just don't know why. <laughs> Any others that we could look at, maybe maybe think about doing? Um, any thoughts? History. Oh, history. I don't have a really good history one because I'm telling you, I'm a math and science guy. Uh, what if I stuck with physics? When I was in college, uh, I read a great book about Newton's gravitational laws, but the only thing bad about that is it really brought me down. So I... <laughs> To go. So you got any more dad jokes before we go? Oh, I, I think all of us around here are full of dad jokes, so I could I could probably run them your way, but I don't know if you guys are up for it. That's so. fine. Go ahead. Okay. Um, y you know, uh, one of my favorites, um, I had a clock for breakfast this morning. It was so good, I came back for seconds. Hey, hey. Luke, where are you going? Luke, Aiden, hey, I've got more. I'll stick with math. Hey, I taught my dog two minus two. He got nothing. He gets it right every time. Hey, I... I've got another one. Why, why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. All right. Hey, Tigers, go be awesome. Well, I wasn't prepared for that. I can never unhear them now. No one can. Thank you for joining us in this week's edition of Tiger Vision News. I'm Alexis. And I'm Seth. Stick around a little bit to watch some bloopers from us here in Tiger Vision and some of our silly outtakes. We hope to see you back here next week, and remember, no classes next Monday. Enjoy your long weekend. In case you missed the 26th annual talent show a couple weeks ago, you missed a great show. Taking third place went to Kaysen with his piano trivia, second place went to Deegan for his shredding on his electrical guitar. Electrical? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we do that again? Sorry. Me and Kaysen are cool. Yeah, let's do it. Cruise. We buddy Cruise. Cruise made us
Just fight me. No, I didn't. How? How? Trey Berry and re and Matt, oh, it says take it easy. I'm dumb. <laughs> Right here. Tergivision News. You know, uh, don't have a microphone. That's what I'm forgetting. This is present you. No one likes present trick. Or past trick. Or any type of trick. Besides a lunch tray. That's the tray I like. The what? The lunch tray. Well, hey, look how good I look. What's up? Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> totally didn't forget the microphone last time. Let's do this again. All right. Now I remember. 54 to 27. Horlick, Farmer, and Undaunted, and, and Purdom all won by forfeit. Well, it went through the fence. Take the hat, it looks better. Okay. Here, catch. Okay. I was gonna destroy the hat. Come on, Adam. Okay, okay, shush. So that's all I got. What, that's it? That's it. No, I'm kidding. Uh. <laughs> Please RSVP by replying to Miss Adney so we know how many students plan to to into. To <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, sorry. Let's start over. Da, 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 da. Mostly consist of people walking in on our interviews. Alright, alright, you want me to say the top? I don't want you to say any of it. Oh, okay, I'll stand here and look pretty then. Okay. You can go now. A little, but maybe a little too much harsh. Okay. I hope. You know, you can leave for this part. I don't care. You want me to? A little bit, yes. Rock. Cruz is handsome. <laughs> so the question is, who? He. Do the, oh. Oh. You didn't see that. Hey, Tigers. If I have to record this one more time, I'm going to scream. Goodbye!